Oh, we'll give it a... There. It loosened. It snapped. So, oh, and now it's, it's not bad. It's a little resistant to... Not any more resistant than the other one. I guess once you get, get more of it out, it'll be less resistant. So I'm glad that I didn't have to do any more work to get this out. Um, I'm going to keep my finger there. Okay, so here's the screw. That's what that looks like. Another volunteer for the... You know what, I'm just going to throw some of these guys right in the crud cutter right now. Yes siree. That's where they're going to... You know, they're not painted parts or bake light parts or whatever, so... Oh, sorry, I gave you guys a knock on the back of the, the noggin there. Where are we here? Okay, here we are here. So, I took that screw out, and then this wheel comes off this pulley. Oh, and there's this piece, piece that had the other little screw. So it's going in the crud cutter. There's that other little spring with the tab sticking up there. See that? There, you got a good view of it. It's right there, sticking out. So, and then the other spring is this one right here. And it came right out. So, I'm going to throw the spring in the crud cutter. That I'm not going to throw in the crud cutter I may just use a little paintbrush with crud cutter and wipe it up, dry it off right away with water or soap or whatever. Same on this one. Um, you know, don't want to get a whole lot of crud cutter on there. Let me get some of these tools out of the way with now that I've got this apart so that we can see a little better. So, so we've got that stuff in the crud cutter and I'm going to use crud cutter on some parts with a brush so let's do that right now so let's bring this crud cutter front and center and that's what the rest of this video for the next uh, eight, eight or nine minutes is going to be is uh, giving this stuff a quick crud cutter and then <laughs> well, I guess it's going in the crud cutter too. So uh, I'll take it out first. <laughs> what do you say? And uh, I think it'll be fine as long as I get onto it with uh, with some soap and uh, then some water and oil, especially in the oil port there. But you know, there's some there's some real grunge there. Let me get a little closer again so you guys can see. But our regular, our regular cleaning process for, for grungy parts. Look at it, it's just, you know, flaking off really. I'm just going to put it in there, give them a stir and let them sit there for another, another minute. But yeah, give them the, the whole thing, the crud cutter, if they can take it. Uh, some kind of crud cutter treatment if possible. That little spring is still in there. And I think there's another end that sticks into a little spot at the other place there, but no matter. I'll just give this little bit of crud cutter and the spring and then the cavities, the screw holes. And this is 100% crud cutter. So, you know, I certainly haven't skimped. I don't skimp on oil either. I'm really generous with tri flow oil. It's a really good oil. That's what I think. Well, since everything else got crud cutter on there, so much for not putting them in crud cutter. You know, don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> 
I used to want to scream when the teacher would say that back in public school in the 60s. <laughs> it was a different world back then. So anyway, <coughs> pardon me. And time to get a cloth, shop towel. Give it a dry. Where's another little brush? This one, can I use this one? Oh, that's a little messy. Let me try using this one. I'll try using this brush. And I'll get the soapy water. I'll just wash it with the soapy water now. And I'm washing the crud cutter off. Because crud cutter is a degreaser. It is not good on finishes. I would not put crud cutter on those decals or on that. Um, if it got on there, I'd wash it off fairly soon. But for some of these hardier parts, this has no decals. And it's going to be rinsed which is what we got here. Clear H2O, so that goes in there for a rinse. And what else we got in here now while that lies there in the rinse for a minute. I want to get this guy out. This it out. So that grunge is coming cleaner. I mean, there's some tarnishing. Tarnishing is not grunge, you know. That's coming clean, or has come clean. Oh, there's a little more coming off there. Good, so we'll just put that in there for a second, and then we'll get this part. Oh, that's coming nice and clean, isn't it? Into the soapy water. I'm so glad we're getting this one. This one is on the exterior of the, of the of the machine at the front, I think, right near the needle thread tension device. You know, so so it's nice to to see it coming clean. What's the next biggest pieces? Let's get this one. Let me get this one first. So there's a couple of marks. There's one there that may be going away. I'm not certain that whether it's a you know a tarnish or a or a jab or whatever. That's clean. There's this one here. Let me give it a a little brush with this. Well, whatever it is, it's it's resistant to that even, so we're just going to have to live with it into the soap and water. And then we have this guy, this dude, this dudette. I think that's the one that keeps our cams on there. Probably didn't see where I was pointing because it's out of range, out of the view. But So yeah, it, you know, it's just the usual glamour and the glory. And, uh, you know, get in there and, and clean, clean, clean. And uh, now we've got a bunch of other parts. You know what? This is going to get crud cuttered anyway. So I'll put them in there. And then we got all sorts of little screws, little set screws and... What else? There's a, a nut or something. That, there we go. What else we got? Something rolling around and oop! Range for you guys. What an awful. So that's going to continue. I'm going to 
move along with getting that stuff out of the soapy water, putting it in the H2O, the clean H2O, the clear H2O, the water only, and then bringing it out of there, and then uh, going to have a uh, blow dry, a blow dry a thon, you know, for all the for all the parts. So I'm going to move along and continue.